approximately 20 miles to go of the Land Run 100. We got the Cannondale Super X, which is gonna be my bike of choice for this weekend. And I'm gonna take you over a couple of these super sweet features that make this bike primo for Land Run 100. Really wide clearance, which I'm excited about this weekend and in general. This race is known for having peanut butter thick mud. Um, I'm currently running 44C Snoqualmie Pass tires from the good folks at Renee Hearst. They're super slick tire. Um, it's a showcase, the showcase feature of this tire is the beautiful tan sidewalls. I love them, they're aesthetically pleasing and they match the, the uh, nice red mud here in, in scenic Oklahoma. Matched up with the brand new SRAM AXS. I'm thrilled about this. Um, two chain rings up front. I'm running the 4835 tooth up front paired with a 1133 rear. Nice long cage here so I get all the gears. Very excited about that. Um, hydro disc brakes to keep me stopping. Then we go up front to the cockpit. We got, I mean man, the new, the SRAM shifters are so freaking comfortable. I've always been a huge fan. It's like playing a video game when you go chee -chee -chee, front chain ring change. That thing's a blast. Um, I don't know what else to say. Setting up your bike for Land Run 100 is very exciting because you never know what you're gonna get. We were talking to somebody at the coffee shop this morning. They said, the traditional line, if you don't like the weather, just wait five minutes. I think that's the truth here. We saw a ton of rain two days ago, and now that rain has seeped into the ground. We got a bunch of really gnarly ruts caused by the mud, and now it's dry as a bone. There's a handful of puddles, standalone puddles, but the course itself is just freaking flying fast. That is why I'm gonna be riding these slick tires, 44C, nice and pillowy soft, so I can stay above the crap, uh, stay above the dirt, stay above the mud, stay above the stones, because this course really does have all of those things.